Okay, we're gonna go ahead and create a new board. Make it a 15 by 15 by 3 16 We're gonna make this for a Raven. Got our board. I'm gonna go to importing. I'm gonna grab an SVG. And we've got Dion headphones. Let's grab that one. I'm gonna go ahead and take that and center that up. Center both ways on our board. Um, we're gonna go ahead and save this board. Okay, let's just call it uh, head page two. We're gonna go ahead and apply a bit to this path here. And we'll put an end mill on this. This neon material is a quarter inch wide. We've actually got a bit set up for this, 14,000 RPMs, and we're running at 1.1. We're gonna go ahead and set this at uh, 0.13 inch depth. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and put a hole in here for us to run our wires. And we're gonna go ahead and tell it to use that same bit. That way we don't have a bit change. And we're gonna go ahead and compile this, okay? I actually have a jig set up for 15 by 15 material. That takes care of all the parameters. We're gonna go ahead and stick a thumb drive in here. So that we've got something. Okay, get it to our thumb drive. I'm gonna go ahead and stick the thumb drive in the machine. This is our jig. So it's just got spacings to keep you under rollers and just double side tape down our material. We've got our tracking tape on the bottom that indexes through the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that in there. Grab that that we just made. Head pressure's at zero, so now we're just gonna go ahead and clamp down on the board. It's measuring the head pressure as we clamp down onto it. We need to get that in the range of 85 pounds. A pound or two off, doesn't matter. It waits till you quit moving. Then it'll home, find its back edge. That's an electrical connection, so it just has to touch it once. It goes to the surface and the tip of the bit. 